Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your Who is Stalking You? <laughs> reading. Um, I haven't done these in a while. I know that many of you used to follow them a lot when I was doing the weekend marathons. So let's see if there's anyone around Pisces who is thinking or focusing a little bit too much attention on you. And let's see why. <clears throat> Now, this is not about actual stalkers. This is just about people who probably look at your social media a little bit too much or people who have you very present in their mind and you just want to confirm, perhaps, the vibes that you have been feeling. We're going to focus on the three people who are mostly thinking or speaking about you, okay? Before we start, this is obviously... Um, <clears throat> not going to resonate with all of you, so take whatever resonates with you, leave the rest behind. Good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you ever want to say thank you for the readings, if you would ever let, like to let me know that these help at all, you can do so with a donation in the description box below. You will find the link. So thank you guys. Alright, let's get started. Universe, what is the first person? Who is the first person who is really paying attention to Pisces right now? And why? <clears throat> All right, let's see. Okay, so there could be a person. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, strongly Virgo for some of you, um, or someone with a lot of Earth in their chart. This person is focusing a lot on you because they, first of all, they feel like you deserve more than you are receiving in some cases, or that they deserve more than you are giving them. This could be someone who is a Pisces. This could be someone who feels responsible for almost making justice for you. Let's say that you are someone who is very tolerant and you put up with a lot of things and this person is kind of like, no, you know, you're not supposed to put up with all, the, all these things. Let me help. Let me assist. Let me support. Almost to counteract the injustices, perhaps, that sometimes happen in your life. That could be one of the cases, okay? Another one of the cases, you know, if that doesn't resonate with you, could be a Earth sign who has a very negative perspective about life, who feels entitled, who feels like they have no longer power over you. Maybe this could be someone who you used to support financially and now you don't or someone who had like access to you and now they don't and it's like as you're moving along there's this sense of almost being offended by not being the center of your attention or something along those lines take it if it resonates this person is this could be someone who, <coughs> sorry, who sees you like when you're at the at the best, at your highest, they almost take credit for what you do, and when you're at the lowest, they kind of like make fun of you. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Like this could be, for example, um, a parent or something. It's like all the things that you do good, they accredit to their good parenting. But as soon as they mess up, they're like, ah, oh, you know, they kind of throw you under the bus. That could resonate with some of you. This person, right now they don't have power over you. So they might be inclining to put you down in the eyes of others. And in their own perspectives, like they rather feel like you're struggling, then feel like you don't want to help them. So if this is financial, they may kind of like 
convince themselves that you are in a very bad place because that makes more sense than you placing boundaries. Yeah? Take it if it resonates. Now, who is this second person who right now is thinking a lot about Pisces, focusing on Pisces, and why? Gemini, could be a Libra, could be a Aquarius, maybe. This is someone here who maybe this is someone you've had a connection with in the past, could be an ex, could be a romantic partner. Someone who maybe wanted or wants to manifest all these things, but find themselves stuck. And clashing in a way, because maybe you have a lot of dreams, but you are in this Knight of Swords energy, which make things happen. And you found success. So maybe this is someone who is trying to reconcile their lack of progress with your fast movement forward. Maybe they're trying to find a middle ground in which they, instead of feeling defeated by you, feel inspired by you. There's someone here who is not brave enough to do bold moves and take risks. And they have seen your risks, and it's easier for them to minimize them. Kind of similar to this vibe over here. To minimize your, minimize your efforts, your risks, taking your decision making, and call it luck. To sort of like accredit, like your success, pretty much you're saying it's because of good luck. But they're... Lack of progress or success, I think it's solely because of a lack of action. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. The, lack, the Knight of Pentacles is not one that is moving. He's standing still, strategizing. But, you know, I mean, uh, let's see. Strategizing is super important, obviously. But there is such a thing as sabotaging ourselves by trying to be perfect, right? Perfectionism is fear in high heels. <laughs> it's like the fancy societal accepted word for fear, okay? And ultimately keeps us stuck. So pretty much done is better than perfect. And this is a person who sees that you accomplish progress, Pisces, by doing things, jumping in, Taking risks, not having things be perfect. Kind of like building your wings on the way down after jumping. But they don't find in themselves the courage, I think. They may call your work sloppy. And they may call their work perfect. But their work is not getting anywhere. And yours is everywhere. <laughs> so it's like there is an impact to what you're doing, Pisces, even if... Um, it's not perfect. It never will be perfect. Who is to determine what is perfect? But this person uses that as a mask to allow fear to stop them. This could be a Gemini. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus as well. There's a lot of different energies, but mainly air and earth. There is someone here, could be a Virgo, someone who takes a lot of pride, as mentioned, on how amazing is the quality of their work or whatever. They take pride that it's like, ah, oh, Pisces is a sellout, or Pisces um, shares their work 
with, I don't know, social media or the masses or the world or whatever. And that makes the, the work cheap. That makes it scattered. It's like they take pride on not having followers or not having clients or something. I don't know. It's like they want to think of themselves as like the best kept secret. But the truth is that they are not sought after. This particularly resonates with like other, if you're like a healer, energy worker, and like other healers and energy workers. It's like they take pride in been, being kind of like that mystical hidden hermit in the forest. But as that mystical hermit in the forest, they may be helping one person the mailman or something <laughs> by giving them advice whereas if they were you know brave enough to share their work they could be affecting millions for the better so it's it's an, it's a kind of like a covert narcissist kind of like a glamorized superiority <clears throat> Arrogance, you know? The second person definitely blames your success. It's like they blame something for your success. Not that you earned it, not that you worked for it. It's like, oh, you know, I blame the pandemic, or I blame that famous person that put them on the map. Like, you weren't supposed to have what you have or something. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so, third person here. Okay, this could be someone who actually has a very stable personality. I'm liking the vibe of this third person way more than the previous ones, okay? So I don't feel anything sneaky. I don't feel anything kind of weird. I see someone here who's very hardworking, okay? Someone who really puts one foot after the other. One step at a time, they get to where they want to go. They're not afraid of hard work, Pisces. This could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person. This could be someone who is very, very intelligent, strategic, intellectual. They see things objectively. They see all angles of a situation and kind of like assess things fairly. This could be someone who is a current romantic interest or someone who you are in a relationship with. This could be someone who is interested in asking you out. In some cases, this could be someone who wants to offer you a business association. They really admire your work ethic. And they hope to be like you one day. This could be someone younger. They want to be kind of like on your good graces. They see you as someone who is solid. This could be someone who has seen you throughout decades. Seeing you get down and be knocked down and get back up. Maybe this is someone who continuously sees your character and judges it in a very objective way. It's not like they're on their side, on your side, on other people's sides. It's like they just recognize that every time you go down, you go up. Every time that you have a problem or a big trauma, somehow you find a way to turn it in your favor. And this person admires you. This could be someone who's a little on the heavy side, someone who's a little bit overweight, I would say. It could be a man, could be a woman. They're very hardworking. This could be kind of like a photographer or an artist. Someone who has find their success through something that really resonates in their heart. Yeah, I love it. 
This person may also be very intuitive. And they may be thinking a lot about you. This could be because maybe you will have been silent in a space that you share with this person. Let's say that you follow each other on Instagram, you haven't posted anything and they're wondering. Or it could be the other way around that you're been posting a lot and they see your stuff. I don't know. Something like that. But there's no bad feelings coming from this person, okay? <coughs> but this person is someone who... If you ask them, like, what do you think I'm doing wrong? They're going to tell you. But there's not going to be an emotional charge to it. The other two are just, like, kind of sneaky and kind of weird. And, like, so please comment below if you have any idea who these may be. I can't wait to see if any of you recognize any of these um, stalker energies. And, yeah, guys, thank you so much for your donations. They really mean the world to me. They really, really do. They have made me so much more relaxed while I'm recovering my vitality and my health after COVID. You know, those donations have really kind of like buffer and given me the opportunity to rest if I need to rest instead of pushing myself to work. Because remember, this is my job, right? So if I don't do the job, you know, I can pay the bills. And if I'm sick, you know, it kind of gets tricky. So I really want to thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you who have supported the channel. It's seriously just, I can't even. <laughs> thank you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.